Ooh, welcome back, everybody! Are you ready to do a simulator today? I don't know what the simulator is going to be all about, but holy crud, I have no idea. By the way, I went to go back and use that save that was in that other room that we found last time. And I was all like, oh, I don't want to use it. I'm paranoid, I'm paranoid, blah, blah, blah. I went back to go use it, now that since the episode was over and it actually works. So for some weird reason, it just seems like the one in Xion's room, for whatever reason, decides to just make the game go all stupid. I, I don't know what why it does that, but, you know, what the heck. It's just that one. So it seems. Let's try it out. All right, I'll boot up the simulator. I don't know if there's going to be other ones that will do the same thing, but at least for right now, it seems like it's only Xion that's the problem. <laughs> <coughs> I'm sure you already know this, but this is an AGWS battle simulator, so please be sure to use an AGWS during combat. Once in a while, we get people who fight barehanded, but that defeats the purpose of the simulator. Anyway, good luck! Okay. Do you really think this is a good idea? I don't know, actually. It might be a good idea. I, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, frick. I literally pressed the wrong button. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I'm gonna try to do this, and it didn't work. This didn't work. A stupid, terrible idea. Alright, let's actually use the AGWS, shall we? Uh, I would like to... I would like to put it over there. Yeah, let's fight. Yeah, that's right, two damage. What are you gonna do about that? Nothing, of course. Alright, take a gosh dang square, would ya? I'm gonna beat you up real good now. You're like, oh man, why'd you gotta beat me up like that, though? What can I do? I can guard in my AGWS? No, I don't really see the point in doing that, but what the heck, why not? Why not do it? Okay, um, you know what? I'll guard again. What the heck? He always gets the bonus. Why can't I get the bonus? I want a bonus too. Alright, fine. I'm just gonna finish you off then in that case. Here, have some of this. Ugh! Double sword slash for the win! Oh, I died! Why do I have to be robotic? I wish I wasn't robotic, then I wouldn't die so easily. It's not good, you know. Wow, wonderful job in the simulator. Here to use the AGW, I mean like... Is that literally all there was to it? I... Ugh. I mean, I could try fighting barehanded, but it's true that does defeat the purpose. What is the point of this then? Like, there really is no point to this. Alright, well, I'm gonna go in it again, and then just... I'm just gonna finish this thing off in, like, two seconds. Transmitting eggs! Transmitting eggs! I love eggs! Eggs are good for ya. Sometimes. Eat this, scumbag! Oh, 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 why would you do that to me? I don't like that at all. Alright, I'll guard, get up to 6 AP, and then be like, BOOM! Oh, wait a second, I forgot that one uses less AP, I'm stupid. Okay, whatever, anyway. Wait a second. It's true. It's completely true. Anyway, that's a critical hit. Good job! Way to be completely overpowered. Too broken, you shouldn't be so broken, you know. Alright, med kit ass. Okay, I'm done. That was stupid. Like, I'm sorry, it actually kind of was a little bit dumb. I don't see much of a point to that. It's like, did that do anything? Not really. It was a nice simulator. It gives you a little experience points if you need it, but did I really need it? I don't know. Can I even get that? It looks like a treasure chest I could get. And that kind of bothers me a little bit, because I really want to get that. And it looks like I should be able to get that, but I clearly cannot. Clearly not. Maybe later I can. I don't know. So we were investigating the disappearance of a planet. I thought we'd be out here for at least half a year. Now we picked up one little piece of floatsome. That's it? What a letdown. Man, what a freaking letdown. 
So then, what about... What if I go over here? Hi there! Aw. Hi there, door! Aw. Do, 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 do. Wait a second. I'm just now thinking. Because I was wondering about that when I was climbing that ladder before. But it was only after the fact. Like, what would happen if I had gone... Could I have gone right from there? Because it looked like I was there was a platform I could stand on there, but I don't recall being able to do that. Who are you? State your name and rank. Oh, you're vector personnel. You see, this is an emergency hatch, so there's no airlock. Everything will get sucked out if you open this in space, so please stay away from it just to be safe. Hey, you get away from there right now. Don't touch that console. But I, I, I want to, though. Why won't you let me? It'd be so nice to be able to touch that. Oh well. Fine, I guess I can't touch it then. Ah, man! There's literally nothing- What is the point of this then? I don't like ladders that are just there for no reason. Those are just bad ladders. Nope, 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 nope. Going down, going down, going down. Always going down, all the time. I need another map, where am I? I'm lost. I'm officially lost, even though I know where to go. Excuse me, have you seen Lieutenant Virgil? Yes, I s just saw him in the Relian Infirmary. What, the Relian Infirmary? That's strange, why would he go there? I thought he was a DME addict. Ah, so he is a DME addict. Correct, that's even what the files said about him, too. How'd you know? Discovered segment address number 16. He's marked as segment address number 16, cool. That's friggin' awesome. Sheesh, look at those two. They didn't make it out in there the whole time. Get a room for crying out loud. Uh... I mean, it's hard to tell from that angle, but it looks like they're just talking, but alright. Yeah, totally, they're making out alright. Do I risk it with the save? Do I risk it? Well, how do I... Oh, wait, heh? How do I get in here? Jeez, I don't believe this. Why would anyone go out of their way to come into this room instead of just passing by? Here I was thinking, we finally found a place where we could be alone. Oh, what? Uh, no, I'm not doing anything. Oh, I meant I'm working, of course. Well. Sure, sure you are. Anyway. Ooh. Okay. Jeez, I'm scared. Like, ever since... Not... Get that thing with Shion's room saved, just messing up everything. I'm freaking paranoid as heck now. So yeah, alright, well, anyway, I can use these saves now. Huh? What do you mean, save failed? Excuse me? Save? Select to save data is corrupted and cannot be over it. Yeah, okay then? Can, can I delete it? Corrupted freaking data. Yeah, all right. There wasn't even anything saved on there. It was just like, oh, here's the corrupted data for you, randomly. That's cool. Oh, man, I don't get any more. Nothing makes sense. Why should it make sense? When it doesn't, obviously. What's a sound effect? I like that. Those Seraphim sisters sure got some nice pipes. Their moves could use a little work, though. Is that what that is? That's weird. It's been repeating the same footage over and over, but you could try to change it. That Marine over there goes into a rage. Don't change it ever! You can't tell they don't let him out often. No, I suppose not. Holograms they have here are of the best quality. You know the other day we had Genosis Hollow and the entire crew panicked. It was utter chaos. I mean, it's Genosis. What do you expect? A switch. Press it. Sure. <laughs> oh, look who's just like, I don't care. I can't believe how laid back they are. We don't know when we'll be under attack, but those guys are totally oblivious. I've never fought Genosis before. I think I have a good grasp of how terrifying they are. Not even the state-of-the-art ship will stand a chance against them. 
Hey, what did you do that for? I was watching that program. Why don't you go to another info station? This station is reserved for video programming in this time slot. Everyone's looking forward to it. Jerk. Well, fine. I'll press it again for you. Jeez. There you go. It's back on. You're welcome. Wish I could make it made it to the concert. <laughs> and it's like nothing ever happened in the end. The end. Where am I at? Where am I going? That's not a door I can use, apparently. Am I getting close to the elevator? The switch press it? Sure. Oh. Well. I feel like I probably should have figured that was gonna happen. Oh well. Alright, what's up? Whenever I look at the switch, I hear a voice. Press me. Hurry up and press me. I dare you to press me. Can't you hear it too? Yes. That's why I'm gonna press it right now. Oh yeah. Well, you're not gonna say anything different. Oh man. And here, I thought he actually reacted to me pressing the button. Like, oh, you pressed the button. That's cool. Good job. So I'm back here finally, eh? Guess I don't need a map after all! Hey, enough is enough already. Don't blame them for everything. Shut up, I had enough of your equal rights railings, and it goes against humanity crud. Friends and ship aren't like old miles that were assigned to Mil Miltia. Milsha? Milsha. An incident like that will never happen again. I forgot how to pronounce that word for a second there. How can you be so sure? After all, they're nothing but combat weapons. I have no idea who's saying anything right now. What's so great about railings? There's no way you can trust those puppets. You know what happened in Milsha? Don't you? Who knows the ones on board the ship might go crazy too. That's always possible. This gate is currently closed. Please use another gate. I don't want to though. Can't make me. I'm going to the bridge finally. Go to the bridge. My gosh, it's episode six and we're just now getting to the bridge. Took long enough. But we're finally here. Whew. All right, what's up with you? No need to worry, just one more gate jump and this operation will pretty much be over. We won't have to resort to that unfinished weapon either. Well, that's good. Wait a second, what unfinished weapon? Are we talking about Cosmos? Oh, um, it was Cosmos, right? The battle android? I hope it does well. You're ten minutes late, it's no wonder that your research is behind schedule. I'm sorry. So taking up more time with your apologies, you should hurry up and present your report to the captain. Is that the captain? Or is the captain down here somewhere? Sure must be nice, you guys get to conduct your research while getting red carpet treatment on a military ship. On top of that, you'll get credit for active duty as well. And that's not bad. Oh, you're from Vector, aren't you? How are you enjoying the Wolglin so far? She's a great ship, isn't she? I suppose so. Oh, hi there. You're quite young for a chief engineer. And how do you know that? I'm sorry, I hope you'll forgive their rude remarks. Everyone's feeling a bit uneasy about the inf information blackout surrounding this mission. Well, why? Why are they, you know, doing that? Here, the Genosis are extremely mobile. I'm not so certain that this ship's FCS is even capable of pursuing them. Probably not. Th this isn't good. It looks like they use low grade coal. And the exhaust is too thick. At this rate, they'll see us coming from beyond the horizon. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Man, Joe, this ship is the Zoo Zui C Model 2, a cutting edge logical drive. It doesn't use coal. Freaking coal, I swear. It's like, coal? In this day and age? My gosh. A modern warship cannot exist without a network. A fleet? No. The military itself is like a giant living entity. We are linked with this ship to mobilize several thousand troops, and that's just through one synapse. A good old synapse, huh? Those floating objects are cons co console pads. Pods, pads, pods, same thing. I'm just kidding. Built exclusively for the new 100 series observational unit rallyings. Unfortunately, the 100 series observational units haven't been issued yet. It'd be helpful if they were. If they were. But we're just fine on our own for now. Where are you? 
I get a feeling you're actually not, but what do I know? Hi, Captain! Please excuse me for being late. Don't worry about it. Now you're here. Can you please show us Cosmos' data? Yes, sir. Right away. Please show the data. We want to know. I see. I understand the basic specs. Woo! <laughs> so, where's the actual field data? Well, it's not quite ready. All I can provide today is up to A7. So you don't have it. Well, we'll begin testing with a mock-up unit very soon. But the system is still a little unstable and... Aren't you just making excuses? Listen, Chief Uzuki. Why do you think you're on this ship? Think about that for a moment. This fleet may be newly outfitted, but it was assembled under major time constraints. And we have eggs units, but the 100 series observational units that go with them aren't available until later. What would happen if by some chance we were attacked by those things? I don't think I need to describe the outcome to you. The purpose of Cosmos deployment was to address this issue. Or am I mistaken? No, sir. Listen, you're not in a laboratory anymore. You're on a warship. This is a battlefield. Cosmos was supposed to be our frontline defense here, and now you're telling us it hasn't even woken up yet. There's no point in having a weapon that can't even get out of bed. That thing's only meaningful to us when it's fully operational. Why can't you? Let it go, Commander. Jeez. These people are working under serious time constraints. You got intense pretty Just fast. Our own squadron. Besides, they're only one step away from actual field testing. In the end, we all want to see this operation completed without having to resort to that thing. Don't we? Of course, Captain. But I believe we... Ugh, who's calling me? Is there a problem? Uh, uh, no. Something urgent's come up. If you'll excuse me. I wonder what's wrong. I don't know. Well, never mind. That's enough for today, Chief Uzuki. Let me know if any new developments arise. I'm sorry we failed to meet your expectations. Oh, there's no need to apologize. What's important to us is how reliable the system is once we start using it. Rushing the project won't get us anywhere. So just calm down and take as much time as you need. The government's funding it all anyway, right? <laughs> You must be tired. Take the rest of the day off. I can't wait to take the rest of the day off. And that's exciting. What's up, dude? Good work. Now go get some rest. Alright, gonna go get some rest. There's an email for Shion. Oh, man. Let's read it. <coughs> Uh, here's a sprinkle from Yuki Itsumi. Great! <laughs> I thought that you'd be in. <laughs> Let's forward you the file you need. Please save the file attached to this email. The attached file is a plugin called Sprinkle, which is being distributed distributed for free by a software company called Magnelli Systems. Let me give you a brief explanation of Sprinkle's capabilities for your reference. This plugin works by taking advantage of the unused cycles on the connection gear, so it does not burden the connection gear's ordinary functions. It repeats required process only when the connection gear is not being used. The results of its calculations are automatically fed back to Boris and the secret server. That's the general idea behind Sprinkle. Okay then, let's work hard, although it's really the connection gear that's doing all the work, huh? Miyuki, P.S. I may be able to finish it even if you don't help. So, how do I... Oh, download attachment? Alright, let's do that. So wait, what did I just... How, what did I get from it though? I got a file attachment, but what did I do? Okay, let's see, uh, escape pack, no. <coughs> no. 
Where? I don't get it. Where is it at? I don't know where the thingy is at. Where did I? Where did it go? Should it like tell me what it at least gave me? What kind of file was it? What was its importance? I may never know. We like to go to the lower level. Wait, what? Oh, oh, okay. I was really confused for a second. I was like, wait, what am I doing? Huh? Nothing makes sense anymore. All right, lower level. Let's freaking do it. Ooh. Where am I going now? Chief Uzuki of Vector First R&D Division. You have a package from Vector HQ. Please claim your package at the AGWS hangar as soon as possible. And the AGWS hangar is where exactly? Is it that place I went to earlier for the simulator? Uh, I guess I'll go check it out. Let's see if it is or not, and if it's not, then I don't freaking know. Where is the package at? I want some packages. I really wish you run a little faster, but oh well, that's all right. It is what it is. Is that my package right there? I want to open that up. That'd be kind of nice just to have something like that. All right, who are you? Where are you? It's an AG of his Oh, this is an AG of his character. You can hear an AG of Okay, well, that's not what I'm... No. Yeah, that's really not what I'm doing. Okay, what about you? This package is addressed to Miss Yuzuki. Looks dangerous, so be careful while handling it. Hmm, and a MWS. So this is what Miyuki's email was about. Hmm, I guess, I guess she still intends to use me as her guinea pig. Obtain an MWS, nice. Now what does that do? What can I do with it? A portable weapon designed and developed by Miyuki. And has a multitude of hidden weapons built into it. Nice. Very, very nice. Huh. I anyway, that's interesting. Multitude of hidden weapons built into it. So, how do I use it then? Can I actually make use of it? Wait, I don't have to talk to anyone anymore. Alright, no more talking to people. Let's freaking get out of here. I've been waiting for this day to come for a hundred years. I thought it would never happen. Phew, I'm getting a little tired. I think I should go rest in my room for a while. Yeah. You should probably do that, Shion. You probably should do that. Go get some rest so that way you can be ready for the next day. I know I need to get some more rest, but do I ever get myself more rest? Nah. Rest is overrated, as they always say. It is a little bit overrated. I don't know where I'm running right now. I'm just running somewhere. Places! I would have to assume back to her room, though that's a pretty long way to run, honestly. It's like, why can't I have my coin? Let me see around. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go, go. Well, I mean, I want to get in there. I mean, if I could break you in, maybe, like I said, maybe you just forgot your keys in there. You'll never know now, will ya? I didn't think so. Oh my gosh, it's a drill game again. I want to play more drills. I love playing with drills. Because they just drill into things, and that's nice. There's nothing bad with that. You weren't here before, were you? Suzuki, they call beautiful people like you trash on a dunghill. It's... It's Jewel for crying out loud. I like how we have a little continuation right there. It's like trash, like really? I've never heard I've never even heard of that saying before. It's like what is that? Like really now? Alright, sure. Well, forget about it. It's time. It's time we go visit a room. Visit a place. Yeah, I already did that. I don't know what I'm doing. Alright. I just realized maybe that was clear now. I meant to take the long way around for no reason. Oh well. That was a grave mistake, Cherenkov. I believe I already warned you about the dangers of the Zohar. 
That sounds like Van Grant's. Yes, sir. I'm afraid there's no excuse for the fatalities that occurred during the recovery. However, we can... That's a trivial matter. Forget it. The problem is that those people touched the Zohar and then vanished. And, in addition to that, you're still transporting it while exposed to normal space. Because of that, we've had to move the plan up two phases. We can't have the Zohar falling into the government's hands. Two phases? But why are you... We picked up local UMN activity on our EPR radar. The fleet is column jumping towards the position of your convoy. They'll cross your vector in five hours, 22 minutes. No, it can't be... them? I told you, you've made a grave mistake. We dispatched reinforcements an hour ago. So keep it safe at all costs until they arrive. W will they make it in time? Just keep it safe until they arrive. I don't care if you have to send it into hyperspace by itself. Fortunately for you, your ship is carrying that weapon. I don't know what Vector's up to, but take advantage of the situation if you can. Excuse me, sir, but they haven't even started field testing it yet. It's too risky. You, of all people, should be cognizant of its power. I don't care if it's unstable. Make them hurry. But, but, sir... That is all. Commander, wait! Commander Margulis! Hyperspace. Hyperspace. Yep, it's Star Wars. Like I told you before, I can't go anywhere until my project stabilizes. Don't you remember? You know how long you've been saying that? I haven't seen you for two years now. You could at least come home for our parents' memorial. Where's your sense of filial duty? Memorial? Oh, come on. Why are you trying to resurrect obscure ancient rituals? Wait a minute. You've been reading those weird old books again, haven't you? I swear you're so obsessed with those precious books of yours. That is none of your business, thank you very much. Uh, how many times must I tell you not to quibble about my way of life? What do you mean, way of life? All that stuff's just a stupid old hobby for you. Just remember, don't expect me to take you in when you're old, senile, and all alone. That's terribly rude. Xion. Don't worry about me. Just promise me you'll come home this year, okay? If you don't... All right, all right, when I get some time off. Look, gotta run. See ya. Hey, wait. I'm not going to let you dodge the question again. Hello? 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 Honestly, I wish he'd consider my feelings for a change. I'm a little tired. Also, well, I said that guy sounded like Van Grant. I'm not really like saying that 100% for sure. He, said, he definitely sounds like someone I've heard before, though. And I want to say it's Van Grant, but I'm not really sure. So I, I, I might have to look that one up a little bit later just to see, like, hmm, is that who I think that is? I don't know. I don't even remember the name of his voice actor, actually, but it just sounds like the same guy. At least a similar person, anyway. I feel bad. Excuse me. I feel bad about that, too. I feel bad about doing this, but I think I'll rest a bit. Maybe I'll take a cat nap. I can't yet. I'm worried about everyone. Sorry, before I go to sleep, I should check on everyone. Gotta go check on everyone! <laughs> I don't know if there's really any point to do in this, so I'm probably actually not going to do that. Where am I? This was open, wasn't it? Yep, it was, it was. Well, that's good, anyway. I kind of actually want to go somewhere to see. 
Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. This might take a little while. I, I, I don't like this, but... I'm gonna go back to the place where Alan was at and Cosmos. I'm gonna go check that area out again. If they'll let me, which I think they probably will. I don't see why they wouldn't. I'm gonna do that, see what happens, go back into the simulator if they'll let me. And I'm gonna try climbing that ladder again. <laughs> Because now I'm kind of thinking to myself that maybe I goofed up somewhere. Because it's... I don't know. I thought that ladder was just being stupid, but I'm starting to think like maybe I could have gone right. And maybe I just didn't do it. Even though I thought I remembered pressing multiple directions on the control stick. Nothing actually happened, so I don't know. But... Who the heck are you? What is this villain doing wandering around here? Why do you literally just run up to me and say that? It's like, all right, what are you doing here, you civilian? Get out of here. We don't like your kind on board our ship. How do you even get on our ship in the first place? Gosh dang it. I don't know what's up with that person. It was all like, yep, yep, it's gonna run up to you. Just gonna say whatever the heck's on my mind, and that's all there is to it. All right, Alan, what's up? How are you? Let's have a talk. Oh, Chief, how was it? Oh, nothing to worry about, Alan. It went perfectly. The entire bridge was blown away. Dot, dot, dot. That's it? Just, just dot, dot, dot. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and save again. Why the heck not? All right. Looking pretty good. Let's go back in that simulator, please. Please. Shall we try the startup experiment again? I was gonna get last time, so if you go get them now, I'm sure they'll be useful in the real world too. Yes, please. Roger, please take your place on the live seat. Opening into connection. Assistant Chief, please verify the protocol. Alright, so that's an exit, and this is a ladder. And I want to see if I can actually go to the right this time, because I apparently didn't re think I could do that. <laughs> I knew it. I freaking knew it. I was just wondering because, like, I knew I never got those items. All right, fight me. Or else what? You're gonna summon your AGWS? Of course you are. It's been summoned. Here's Bean. Ow, that hurts. This is really painful. I don't like this. Even a zero damage crit. Oh. The fence tires are too high. Can't do damage now. Ooh! This is wonderful. Can you stop attacking any minute now, please? They just kept attacking and attacking and attacking. Alright, you may die. Ha ha ha! Wait, did it not die? No, it's dead. I swear, I didn't look like it disappeared, so I was like, hold on a second now. That's not right. I don't get it. Now I do get it, actually. Okay, so if I do this, then you'll die, right? Yeah. I knew it. I knew you would die if you put your mind to it. I will attack twice, because why not? I like a double attack. Alright, do that! Oh man, super critical hit mode! Gotcha! And that gives a whopping 30 experience points if we almost leveled up. Ether pack, nice. I love ether! So what's in the treasure chest? Two med kit S's? That's what I came back here for? That is seriously what I came back here for. Okay. Well. At least I know now. At least I know. That I don't have to worry about this area anymore. All the items have been gotten. All the items that are useful in the real world. They're Oz. They exist. Alright. I'm exiting this simulator. Now hopefully there's no other items that have to go get right. Shall we try? Blah blah blah. blah, 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 blah. Is there someone that says that I didn't get all the items though? Like, it wasn't you, right? 
Nah, 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 nah. Like, I could just skip the rest of that conversation. Like, nope. Don't need to have that conversation anymore. No siree. Was it her? Don't forget, Chief. It's in the red vector box. Make sure you pick it up next time. You went an encephalon dive. The red vector box. What are we talking about? I forgot what we're talking about. I don't know anymore. Did I get what she was talking about? Because I honestly can't remember. Alright, well that was a waste of time, but whatever, let's freaking do it. Watch, I'm going to end up going back to my room sleeping, and then when I wake up, and then have to progress the story some more, I'm probably going to end up going back there again, and I'm probably going to be able to go into that place, if I want to, and go get those items, and then end up being a complete waste of time. I have to do this walk multiple times, and no one wants to do this walk multiple times, right? That's probably why I'm going to actually end this episode right now, because this guy is going to freaking run at me and waste more time. Everyone, I'll see you next time on the next exciting episode. I'll be back at Xion's room, and we're going to go to sleep. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Sleepy time is fun times, of course. Y'all have a nice day. You sleep well if you're going to sleep soon. You sleep well if you're going to sleep later. You know, stuff like that. See you later!